Yo, what's up YouTube? This is Anti Bushido and I've gotten a personal request on about how did I configure um, the on dock right right down here. And I'm basically gonna go through step by step on how to do that. So let's begin. First uh, you want to go and try to go to uh Synaptic Package Manager. And let me enter my password here and what you're trying to do is get an, uh, a package called a extra uh, on extra applets or basically applets extra and this is so you can get um, this little applet right here I like the, the message box appearance that just comes up instead of uh, having uh, the main menu like that there's two different ones. There's one like this, and there's the other one like um, the pop-up window, which I like. Um, that comes in the extra applets plus the uh, digital clock. Now, for your viewing pleasure, after you have downloaded uh, on, if you don't already have it, or the extra applets, I have basically made an ugly-looking kind of dot that is really, really big, and I don't think anybody would like too well. So I'm just gonna teach you how to configure it. First you go to down to dock preferences and it comes up. Wow, 48 pixels. Now typically I don't like the big pixels or icons, so what I'm gonna do is just dumb this down to around about 30 pixels, 29, 30, it's around there. I like 30, it's a round number. And the orientation I'm going to leave at the bottom. I just like it that way. But you can of course have it up to the top, the right, the the left if you even like it. I just like it at the bottom. So right now the style is flat and it's kind of boring to me, so I don't like that. You can have it 3D like the Mac. You could have it curved or you can have it edgy. Now edgy it gives a nice little effect once you take the position screen all the way over to that side or if you want all the way over to that side it just depends up to you but by having it all the way to that side there's like a nice little curve effect right where the main menu screen is and thus again it looks nice and sweet but for the purpose of this tutorial I will keep mine at floaty because I like it that way um, behavior uh, have it on Windows Dodge. Now, what Window Dodge is is if you put a window right there, it dodges it. It basically disappears. It's to the way that I have specified. You can have it transparent if you want, or keep above. Transparent is pretty nice, so I'm just gonna kind of keep it like that. It lets me see where things are. At. All right and we'll go on to icon effects now you can have simple you can have classic you have fade spotlight zoom spotlight i just like my short simple and to the point like this so i'm going to put this back in the middle uh it doesn't really matter if you have floaty or the extra stuff that i'm about to show you how to do um, but pretty much this is how you define what it's how big or small or where the orientation is going to be at and also don't forget to start on automatically if you have it um, and this is the expand panel this basically expands it because if it wasn't expanded it will be something like that something a little small which is nice if you have it over here on the left to right side of the screen um, I'll show it to you real quick you know, if you just wanted something like that, is just choose your own style. Just choose what you are. What's your flavor? Put it that way. Um, so you're gonna expand the panel for me, and I'm going to show you about Task Manager. Now, Task Manager is pretty much all you have to do is just drag and drop. So what I'm gonna do is, for purposes, I'm just gonna drag GNOME do. Cause sometimes uh, I have to restart it. Uh, every now and then because of we started compass that's a total different video and let's go to apples 
Now the uh, the applets that you got from the Snap Package Manager is also on here. It's available for you now since you already downloaded it. And this is the on main menu. Now that's the one that I'm currently using for the bubble one. Now the other one that I was talking about is just the Cario menu. Or Caro. It depends on how you spell the sound it now. But it um has places and it also has the main menu thingy right here. Which it's alright, but I like the basically the pop up window. And um, also defined in the extra is the digital clock, or else you'll be faced with the analog looking clock, which doesn't really tell you the time that much on the um, on um, on the on applet. But and there's also um, this one. It's a desktop. I want to say the shiny switcher. This basically shows my desktops. I have about four of them on there now. But it just shows it to you. You can switch it around if you want, whatever you like. And this is the one that has, uh, which is called the, I want to say indicator applet. And in my previous videos, I had it where it was like these small little icons. Let me see if I can find it. I probably passed it several times. Be in here. Ah, yeah, here it is. I passed it several times. Um, the indicator applet, which basically shows these little guys down here, which I'll show you later how to configure that. You can make it into the small ones, or you can have it the large icons that I have it like down here. And I also added uh, the weather app, which if you click on it, just basically shows you the weather. And you have what is called the expander I want to say the, yeah expander now basically what expander does is anything to the right side that you want is going to be on the right side portion of your dock and anything on the left side of your dock is going to be the left side of your dock it's just basically expanding it from the middle right here it's expanded and right here is basically this is the stuff that's already defined when you pre reload the on. Just this stuff right here is just added from up here. That's all. And also, that's just added because I didn't like the main, the cario menu. So, once you have defined all those the way that you want, and there's several other different app applets that you can stick on the dock if you want, there's not pertain to these particular ones is up to you but once you have done that I'm just gonna put that down for the side I'm gonna go down here to the indicator applet sessions and just choose just right click on it and go to preferences now here you can enable the different indicator applet or the quit button if you don't want that or the main menu is just up to you the me menu that's up to you um, but here's the thing right here that enables the applet mode uh, enable the, the applet icon mode right here where there's little tiny applets right here or you can enable it and you can have the big ones mm, recently I've gotten to the point where I like the big ones instead right there so I'm just going to leave it at that point and like I said before, it's completely up to you. And we can go back to on settings. Now this is where your themes are at. And you can get themes from pretty much uh, a website called, let me type it in, GNOME. GNOME. And just go here and what you want to do is once it loads just go to I'll type I'll go to search and type in on and you can just download whichever one tickles your fancy and now they have updated what I would say the the version of on 
and so it depends on which one that you get it may work it may not it's just it may it's like a hit and miss trial and once you finish with that you will go down here install it and find where where you have do downloaded the little thing about it or the file and go ahead and click on it right here you can click on them uh, like that but for the purposes I'm just gonna have go ahead and click uh, customize so once you hit, click customize you can go to use GTK, uh, GTK themes colors if you want or if you don't you can just unclick it and what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna have a little fun with this and since my theme is kind of black I would say I'm just gonna go up here click on that and click OK now let's say I want to have it where it looks kind of shinier but just the whole thing is kind of black and I'm just gonna leave it leave that right there I'm gonna go over here transform that over here to black just a little bit more just one of the darkest settings boom it looks like a nice shine you got the uh, the kind of a gray whitish color up here and you have the dark black color down here so it looks like it's a nice shiny marble of, uh, of the dock and it's pretty sweet um, you can have uh, the outline to it you can change the different colors if you want I'm just gonna leave it the same because it looks pretty sweet it's just pretty much how you define it it's what you are um, just have fun with it that's all you have to do is just have fun maybe maybe you'll get it to the point where it's like oh man I like this or you may get it to the point where it's like man this is horrible and I hate this duck but the be beautiful thing about it is you can always go back um, just get back out of it choose the thing and just redo it and try again but this is anti bushido and like I said just have fun we have too much serious seriousness in this world anyway so just have fun with it and I'll be back with some more videos subscribe please if you like this stuff so peace